New at five, the nation's first offshore wind farm is beginning to take shape right off the coast of Block Island. Major pieces of the project arrived at the Port of Providence last month, and today we got a tour of those pieces for the first time. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright was there and has the story from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. This is the last time these wind turbines will be on land. Come September, they'll be spinning on the nation's first offshore wind farm. State leaders are celebrating the nation's first offshore wind farm entering its third and final phase of construction. Deepwater Wind is installing five turbines off the coast of Block Island, which will provide 90% of Block Island's power. The rest will go to mainland Rhode Island. We've been working on getting this project going for over 10 years, and we've actually been in construction for two. So to be here standing is uh, something that a lot of us have looked forward to for a long time. On Monday at the Port of Providence, Governor Gina Raimondo tore the turbine blades, which will soon be added to the foundation off Block Island. Meanwhile, the turbine engines are on their way over from France. So what does that mean for Rhode Island? It means cleaner source of energy. Ultimately, it means lower cost of energy. It means a diversified energy supply. And it means a lot of jobs. About 300 construction jobs, according to Deepwater Wind, along with 50 permanent jobs in operation and maintenance. This is the way to rebuild our economy. We cannot bring back uh, old-fashioned manufacturing. The governor says innovation-based manufacturing is the wave of the future, and Rhode Island is leading the way. The $250 million project began last year, which included installing the foundation. The wind turbines have a lifespan of 20 years, at which point they'd have to be taken down. It's unclear whether they'd be replaced. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.